guys here are some amazing new future technologies that you must see like trust me you're gonna want to watch the whole video till the end because these are some really really cool advanced technologies and gadgets that you just must see right now full credit of the video goes to tech zone and yeah three two one let's get straight into it aether cruise experience this luxury cruise project is based on a platform for airships. Developers say that you can travel not only quickly, but also with maximum comfort. The futuristic airship operates on the basis of a technology called Aeroscraft. This means that it uses engines as the main source of ascent, while helium only compensates the weight of the load. The aircraft is also equipped with a special system that allows the crew to adjust the total weight of the aircraft using air compression. Inside the aircraft, there is a spacious lounge, a dining area, a bar, a kitchen, and passenger rooms with all the necessary amenities. Trifon 600 This project for a universal hybrid between an airplane and a helicopter is called Trifan 600. This aircraft, which combines the vertical lifting capacity of a helicopter with the speed of an aircraft, can be built from composite materials. According to the idea of the creators, the flying vehicle will be designed for five passengers and one pilot. The plane is designed primarily for businessmen and to help solve the problem of traffic congestion in the metropolis, as it moves at 400 miles an hour. In addition, it can be used to travel between cities. The maximum height limit of the hybrid aircraft is approximately 2,950 feet. Two turbine engines allow flying between 800 and 1200 miles without refueling, depending on the takeoff and the cargo. Vertical takeoff is possible thanks to an adjustable three channel fan built into the fuselage, which uses sliding hatches. It is noteworthy that Trifan 600 does not require special areas for takeoff and landing and can land on any smooth surface, including the roof of a building or the area in front of a country house. Fire truck of the future. To make it easier for firefighters to work in a big city and avoid traffic jams, Dahia Insart's designers have developed a concept for a fire truck. This vehicle, equipped with signal lamps, can be raised above the vehicle flow and moved, balancing on two supports, e.g., between the rails if necessary. But this is not its only function. The fire truck doesn't have ladders, as it has a large unmanned aircraft that can lift firefighters and water tanks to the required height in just a few seconds. Mercedes Concept IAA This project, presented by Mercedes, is a true vehicle of the future. Its dimensions are 16.5 feet long, 6.5 feet wide, and 4.2 feet tall. A hybrid transmission puts the vehicle into operation, and its total power is 279 horsepower, which allows it to reach a speed of up to 155 miles per hour and an electric journey of up to 40 miles. In order to achieve better aerodynamics, the creators say no to the side mirrors, replacing them with cameras and to the door handles installing a special sensor system instead. Even more futuristic are the windows on the sides of the vehicle, which, with the help of screen printing technology, take on the same color as the bodywork. However, the main feature of this concept is the activation of additional components at the back, which make it possible to extend the vehicle and further increase its aerodynamics at high speeds. TFX On the outside, the TFX flying vehicle looks like a high-tech four-seater sedan. In addition to an aerodynamic bodywork, the vehicle is equipped with folding wings with two electric motors on each side. These engines are powered by the energy produced by the generator, along with a 300 horsepower internal combustion engine. The vehicle's wings can be folded horizontally during preparation for flight and can take a vertical position while flying across the surface. The additional propellers provide the TFX with the ability to take off and land on any short stretch of road, and in other words, no runway is required. The air vehicle can reach speeds of 200 miles per hour, and fuel and energy are sufficient to overcome distances of up to 500 miles. It's also worth mentioning that the concept is semi-automatic, i.e. the pilot can control it manually or using preset destination coordinates. Transit Elevated Bus The creators of this unusual bus set out to defeat the city's traffic jams completely. This is made possible by the unusual design of the vehicle, which allows cars to literally pass underneath it. 
At the same time, passengers are on an elevated, comfortable and totally safe platform. The width of this prototype bus and giant tunnel is about 26 feet, around two lanes of traffic. At the same time, the length is 72 feet, and one of these buses has a capacity for 300 people. The creators also say that a series of several innovative vehicles will be suitable for transporting more than a thousand people. Despite its impressive size, the transit elevated bus should not occupy a place on the road because all traffic passes through it. To move the bus tunnel through the city, roads must be equipped with special rails with an emergency braking system. Unfortunately, despite the great potential, this concept has not been realized. Willy the author of this project is a designer named Ted Orlovsky, who proposed turning buses into a giant screen on wheels. On the outside of the vehicle is a large LCD panel on which the advertisement is broadcast. It is worth highlighting that even advertising in this means of transport is a real innovation, as dynamic videos move along the route and attract the attention of passers-by. When the bus isn't moving, it shows you a familiar design. You can see the doors as well as detailed information about the route, the following stops, schedules and other useful information. But when Willy's on the move, it becomes an advertising screen. Unfortunately, the designer's project doesn't include a demonstration of the vehicle's interior, but it is likely that inside this bus is no less unusual than the outside. Navia Armour Independent buses are definitely the most modern technology in this area. This type of vehicle is absolutely ecological, which is extremely important in the modern world. The bus moves using electrical energy. Besides being a robot, i.e. the control is carried out by means of a special computer program, and therefore without the human factor. Navia Armour is also functional and very comfortable for passengers. The cabin has an air conditioning system and a special ramp for the comfort of boarding and disembarking disabled passengers. The bus is designed for the transport of 10 to 15 passengers, with only 4 people standing. The average speed of this futuristic vehicle is about 12 to 15 miles per hour, and the maximum speed is 27 miles per hour. Passengers have a special program for smartphones and tablets to find schedules or reserve a seat. Flexible Transport the basis of this urban vehicle, as well as that of the fire engine shown above, is the concept of a self-balanced vehicle. Thanks to a stabilization system, this vehicle for a large number of people is balanced on two thin poles that move on specially installed rails. In addition, the invention can dodge various obstacles such as bridges and elevated crossings, traveling at a higher altitude than other means of urban transportation thus greatly easing traffic and avoiding congestion. Another advantage of this futuristic development is its transport capacity and respect for the environment. Future Public Transportation This vehicle project is a hybrid of a helicopter and an electric suburban train, designed for a large number of people and equipped to provide maximum comfort. The engineers placed not only chairs but also tables, a dining area and a bar in a spacious lounge. The vehicle is lifted in the air using a combination of six powerful propellers and moves along a predetermined path through special lanes located at the bottom. It also travels at low altitude on the ground, helping to avoid traffic jams and the typical risks of road and air travel. Next, future transportation. Another project for a means of transport of the future has been developed by a team of engineers under the direction of the genius behind the idea, Tommaso Gechelin. According to one of the developers, this passenger vehicle will become the main means of transport in the city. It's based on modular systems. Each cabin module can be a personal transport system for the passengers or interact with each other, getting together directly on the track in the form of a train or a traveling device. Therefore, the module becomes a convenient and efficient means of transport, depending on the density and number of passengers. But even if the number of people is high, this doesn't mean that they will be deprived of comfort, as this vehicle has room even for a bar and a shop. In addition, purchases are made directly from a device without any cash. The same applies to tickets. Smartphones, smart clocks, PDAs and other electronic devices interact with next future transportation and the modules take people to their stops and know exactly where to go. 
This is possible thanks to the route previously chosen in a special application. The length of each module is 8.8 .8 feet, and each module can accommodate up to 10 people, 6 standing and 4 seated. The modules themselves are electrical and therefore environmentally friendly. In addition, they can travel on normal roads and railways, and the attachment unit uses a magnetic device. Dahir Insart's Road Technology The world's first automated road complex is designed to reduce costs and improve the quality of road patches. Upon arrival at the site, the complex is installed on hydraulic supports so as to not tip over during operation. With the help of a light indicator, the operator determines the processing area, selects the size of the repair, and then the machine enters into automatic mode. The complex uses a variety of tools, changing them in the correct order, depending on the ongoing operations. The machine can cut and remove the surface of the old road, as well as place pre-prepared patches in place. At the time, the entire technological repair cycle doesn't exceed five minutes, and its quality increases significantly due to the structure of the particularly strong patches.